Uh, thank you for the introduction and let's start our presentation. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Watari Yamada, a researcher in NTT Docomo uh, from Japan. Uh, today, I'd like to present the CompTrack point. Uh, it is a new input interface for mobile device uh, that can be controlled uh, by finger gesture on a camera. Uh, much of the display has dramatically changed the user's experience in smartphones. Smartphones offer uh, various applications such as web browsing, map, games, and so on. So their user interfaces uh, based on the much touch display can be flexibly optimized according to the interface, uh, according to the applications. So much touch interface is the most successful interface uh, in the last decade. However, uh, there are still uh, many challenges. For example, uh, fat finger problem is well known as a uh, finger that is uh, wider than a button on the touch screen uh, can trigger the typos. Besides, uh, there is also occlusion problem, uh, the center one, is uh, uh, finger uh, covers the device partially and so user can't operate uh, with seeing the whole screens. Reachability problem is uh, that there is an unreachable area in the screen uh, because the finger is too short to cover the whole screen. So many approaches have been proposed uh, to address these challenges. For instance, uh, Lucido Touch offers real touch interaction and overlays an image of the user's hands behind the device. Minput has uh, two optical tracking sensors on the back of the small device and allows the users to control it by moving the device. Extensor sticker proposed by Kato uh, expands the touch sensible area to the side or back of the device uh, by printed conductive uh, patterns. Besides, uh, camera based approach has been proposed. Uh, lens gesture captures sweeping gestures of the index finger over the rear camera. The user can uh, input commands uh, to the mobile device by sweeping gesture of the camera uh, of the mobile device. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't need the additional hardware, but uh, continuous actions such as scrolling or uh, uh, the, uh, pointing is impossible. Besides, uh, uh, phys uh, physical force back is nothing. Gear force uh, place, uh, place a marked gear over the smartphone's camera and captures the finger uh, gestures on the gear. It allows to users, uh, it allows to use the continuous actions such as pointing or scrolling. Besides, the user can input with, with uh, physical feedback from the gear. But unfortunately, uh, this approach disturbs the camera's function because the uh, marked gear hides the camera's view. So user can't use the camera function unless uh, removing the gear. So today, uh, we would like to present a uh, computer point. This uh, new input interface can be controlled by uh, finger gestures on a camera of the mobile device. It allows uh, uh, continuous actions such as pointing or scrolling and input uh, with physical feedback. Besides, our method doesn't disturb camera function, unlike gear force. Uh, in CamTalk point, user operates a mobile device using thumb or index finger uh, placed on the camera. As the figure shows, uh, the uh, CompTAC point can be applied to the both sides, so rear camera and front camera is available. CompTAC point mainly consists of three components. One is a black ring, and the second one is uh, springs uh, supporting the black ring, and the third one is uh, a smartphone's camera. Uh, the Black ring and springs are fabricated by 3D printer uh, using nylon filament. So contact point can be implemented uh, with uh, very low cost. And so adjustment or customizing, customizing are also very easy. Uh, when, use, uh, when using contact point, at first user puts the finger on the uh, rings. 
and use the slides, the ring, and finger together and operate the device as video shows. So the operation feeling is uh, similar to the pointing stick. And I explain the mechanism of our proposal. Uh, our principle, the principle, principle of our proposal is quite simple. Finger looks uh, opaque, but in actual, it's semi-transparent, as uh, direct uh, video shows. So environment lights can pass through the finger and reach the camera uh, 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 covered uh, with fingers. So contact point sends the uh, user's finger gesture uh, by tracking the transmitted lights. So in short, we use the transmitted lights through the finger as a uh, substitute for the optical markers of the conventional method. So this is uh, uh, the video shows the camera view of the camera track point. When user put the finger on the camera, most of the image is filled with, uh, with red. The red area is generated from the light trans uh, transmitted through the finger, and the black area is a part of the black ring. So camera point approximates the red area as a circle, and it measures the distance and the angle uh, between the center of the image and the circle, approximated circle, so it accepts the, these values as the input from the users. Besides, uh, when user removes the finger from the camera, uh, camera works as a normal, so our method doesn't disturb the camera function, unlike a conventional method using a, a marker uh, on the camera. So today we would like to, uh, today I'd like to show the uh, real-time demonstration. So just a moment, please. Oh. Sorry, just a moment, please. Okay. Oh. <laughs> So wait a second, <laughs> please. Mm. Oh, okay. So can you see the? <laughs> okay. Uh, can you see the uh, camera? Uh, this is a camera track point. So it has a black ring and springs and. Uh, camera. User puts the finger and moves like that. So uh, the uh, left image is a mirroring image of the smartphone. So user can uh, control the, this uh, track point like uh, up or down or left and so on. So it offers uh, so text scrolling uh, with uh, seeing the whole screens. So it uh, come to a point that doesn't hide the screens. So besides, um, map navigation is also available like that. Down or up or left, off, oh, left, and so on. Off, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, navigation is finished. <laughs> and more, uh, so, thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. And a more po uh, possible application will be discussed later. So our method depends on the camera and the environment lights. So there are two questions. How much uh, lights is necessary to work contact point? Second one is how much energy does contact point consume? So at first we examine the, its behavior in the three different brightness environments, uh, daytime outdoor, office room, and dark room, uh, those of three. So in this experiment, com uh, camera parameters such as uh, ISO value and shutter speed are default. Uh, default, one, default. So that means uh, we set it as an automatic setting mode. So we didn't adjust uh, these parameters in this experiment. So this is the result. This figure shows the average RGB values of the capturing image before, the, before and after placing the finger uh, on the camera in each environment. 
uh, when user put the finger on the uh, camera, RGB value was uh, drastically changed. So green and blue values simply dropped around the zero in all environments, and R values in office and dark room decreased. decreased. But R value in outdoor is increased after uh, pu uh, putting on the uh, camera. Because uh, this is due to the automatic adjustment of the camera parameters such as ISO value and uh, shutter speed. And the changes in the dark room are very small, so it's difficult to stably drive a counter point in that environment. So uh, to use a counter point in dark room, we propose a counter point with flashlight uh, next to the camera. Uh, when the flashlight is activated, the light hits the side of the finger. The light diffuses inside the fingers and reaches the camera. So as a result, camera top point uh, with flashlight gets uh, enough light and, uh, to work. So we confirmed that it works in the dark room, having under one looks uh, brightness. Next, we conducted the experiment for battery consumption. When camera top point is not running, the battery becomes empty in 13 hours. However, uh, contact point without flashlight consumes uh, all batteries in only two hours. Besides, contact point uh, with flashlight uh, consumes the battery in about uh, 80 minutes. To tell the truth, the battery consumption of a uh, contact point is uh, heavy. So, but we believe that is um, energy consumption can be reduced. For example, uh, the, uh, reducing the frequency, frequency of the capturing. So we confirmed that uh, battery lifetime increased 30% if the capturing frequency was uh, dropped to uh, 15 from the 30 PS. And besides, uh, we conduct uh, another experiment. Is This is uh, uh, one typical application of our technique is scrolling. So we do the... Uh, uh, so, sorry. So, we conduct small and simple experiments to evaluate the performance. The subject were five men and women in, the, uh, in their 20s to 50s. They searched the target 10 words in the 1,000 words uh, using swiping gesture or contact point. And we and measured the time and precision that they took in the task. The table shows the result of experiments. Uh, counter point in the task, we found some interesting points, such as uh, sub step number three, uh, release the counter point once every scroll and release. Uh, so took uh, twice as much time as the swiping uh, was a type, typical long usage of the pointing sticks. The other participant continues, uh, continued uh, counter point come to operation without releasing their f finger as, a, as we assumed. So the completion time of the subject except, except, except number three increased only uh, 20%. Uh, we note the user never overlooked uh, uh, the user uh, using the contact point uh, never overlooked the target. In contrast, the half of the users overlooked the uh, target when they used the swiping. And the, I uh, introduced the some possible application, applications. We believe that contact point has many possible applications. The figure shows the example of applications. First one is password input. Because uh, using, using contact point involves uh, very slight actions, so it has a uh, high robustness against the uh, shoulder hacking. The second one is mobile VR uh, with contact point. Uh, smartphone based head mount display has a poor input interface, so we think uh, contact point uh, um, matches the uh, uh, smartphone based HMD. The, uh, the third one is a biosensing, uh, uh, biosensing application. Redness of the light transmitted through the finger is related to the heartbeat. So 
It's a well-known phenomenon in the biosensing field. So we think a counter point can naturally acquire the redness of the light and uh, measure the heart beating, the user's heart beating, uh, so it becomes possible. Okay, uh, it's my uh, uh, summary of the presentation. Thank you. So, please, any question? Morning, Daniel Ashbrook, University of Copenhagen. Okay. Very cool work. I'm wondering, in dark environments, the shutter speed will increase. Yes, shutter speed uh, uh, will increase uh, when, uh, in the dark environment. So how does that affect the frame rate? Um, frame rate is uh, fixed as 30 FPS, but mm -hmm. only shutter speed is changed. So frame rate is uh, fixed. So, but can't the frame rate be longer than one thirtieth of a second? Ah, uh, so yes, there is a limitation because if shutter speed uh, the longer the one past thirty seconds, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, impossible to uh, fix the uh, uh, frame rate. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, most of the case, uh, frame rate is uh, not changed. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Another mic over there. So I have a question. Okay. So um, there, you had you had an interesting bit there where you made this 3D printed enclosure that had yes. the, the circular th um, ring and the springs. Yes. So h there's probably a story into how you got into that. Like, what what were you experimenting, and how did how did you lead into that final design? Like, what was the uh, path that you took to get to that final design? So. It's a um, difficult question because uh, uh, position of the camera and flashlight is different to uh, each uh, smartphone. So, mm -hmm. so the so the the only one uh, uh, design can't cover the all smartphones. So we think uh, the it is important to the uh, easiness of the customizing. Okay. Dan, go ahead. One more question. Okay. Sorry. Can you uh, use the front and the back camera at the same time? Yes. Uh, sorry, uh, I've not implemented, but in technical, uh, it's possible. Because I see some interesting uh, two-finger yes. applications. Could be possible. Um, just now, we didn't, uh, didn't make it, but uh, it's possible, so, and it's interesting. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.